Hey guys, it's Max Steinberg. I'm a partner at Sabersim and a daily fantasy professional. And I'm here to make a video because we just rolled out a new feature for Sabersim that I think you're gonna really, really like. And I just wanted to tell you about what it does, how to use it, and how to use it to your advantage when building lineups. So um, this feature has to do with the quality control aspect of your lineup building process. And it's really going to take it to a whole new level. So it used to be that when you're doing quality control, you'd look over the players you're getting exposure to, the team stacks, the game stacks, and the stack types. And you would essentially just sort of lower, raise some exposure, try to get some players or less of players that you don't want or teams or games or whatever. So let's say you want less Julio Jones, you just say 75% Julio Jones, we have 75% Julio Jones. Let's say we wanted more wide range of game stacks, we might say 50% game stacks with Denver Atlanta. And if we want different stack types, we might lower some of the skinnier stacks like this to maybe 5% and maybe raise some of the game stacks or something like that. And you can control your exposures that way. And that's that, right? Now we're actually going to give you an update that's going to allow you to take a way closer look at your lineups and actually leave out the ones you might not want or add the ones you like. And I think this is a really great feature because when it comes down to it, when you're looking at the differences between, let's say, your 20th lineup or your 19th lineup, which has, let's see, this one has a... Uh, this Matt Rensack has a 156 uh, projection score and a 177 Sabre score. If we look at the next best lineups, these are really minuscule differences. This is 0.2 Sabre score, not that much Proj score. There's actually higher Proj score, um, less Sabre score. There's not going to be that much of a difference. And so I think using your own brain, your gut, your intuition to choose, okay, let's see some of these lesser lineups or some of the bottom of the barrel lineups that I'm getting and see if I want to replace them with some other ones or leave them out and to get more diversity or just get ones that you like better. I think it's actually really, really useful and it's going to help you make more money in your building process. So let's talk about the features, right? So we have this new filtering tool that's going to give you a really good way to just take a closer look at your lineups. So let's say you're like, okay, I'm getting a lot of my Ryan. Okay, well, let's look at these stacks that I have Matt Ryan in, right? So what we're going to do is you highlight him and it's going to show you all the lineups that have Matt Ryan. And not only that, we're we're going to give you a, a, and a bigger picture of what your lineups look like. And we're actually going to show you these lineups as well. So you can see here, your exposures are now updated. And it turns out that all your lineups with Matt Ryan have both Julio Jones and Hayden Hurts, 92%, so 12 out of 13, have Melvin Gordon coming back. And then there's a wide array of players right there. So you can see the ex kind of get a sense of, okay, this is what my Matt Ryan li lineups look like. And you can also sort of go down and, and just look at them over here as a whole and see, okay, what do these lineups like actually physically look like? What do I look, they look like with my eyes, right? And you can use this filtering tool to sort of see, okay, let's see the lineups that have multiple players, right? So I'm saying, okay, Tim Patrick, interesting. Let's see my Matt Ryan and Tim Patrick lineups. Let's see what these game stacks actually look like. Do I maybe want to add a different type of game stack? Would I like a different Denver play, player coming back? So you can look at this and say, okay, my number one lineup's actually that. So um, maybe there's some big correlation there. And if we actually look at the correlation, you can see that it is pretty big. Tim Patrick has a 0.11 correlation with Matt Ryan and some correlation with it in Atlanta receivers. So it makes sense. Okay, this is why I'm getting him the game stack. But you can look down and say, okay, let's look at the 18th and 19th lineup, right? Is there a lineup down here that maybe isn't Tim Patrick, but is something like, let's see, Jerry Judy, right? So we can look at Jerry Judy and say, okay, I have a 25th lineup that is Matt Ryan with Melvin Gordon and Jerry Judy instead. And it's only an Atlanta double stack. And maybe this looks better than that. And so you can say, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my Tim Patrick, Matt Ryan game stacks. I'm going to scroll down to that 18th lineup. Let's see. 
Um, that is just Tim Patrick, one coming back with Melvin Gordon. I'm going to remove that lineup like so. And then I'm going to go back, go back to my Jerry Judy lineups, look back at number 25 and add it in. And now I have 20 lineups again, and I've just spread it out a little more where now I'm getting a little less Tim Patrick and I'm getting a little more Jerry Judy and I'm balancing out my game stacks a little more in this, this, these lineups. So instead of Tim Patrick, I think that's 50%. Now it's 38%. And now I have uh 15% Jerry Judy. I have him two of those lineups. So it's, it's something there. It can help you balance things out. It can help you make different decisions. It can help you make better decisions. You know, maybe you're like, okay, I don't know if I really want Melvin Gordon coming back in all these lineups. So then you can sort of look at and say, okay, you know, with some of these lineups, maybe the 10th or 11th one, if it's repetitive, if it's something else, maybe you don't like a particular player, you can remove it. And you can also, if you want, you don't want to choose the lineup, you can just fill the 20 lineups. We'll clear the filters and then you have 20 lineups and it's just going to give you the next best lineup for your lineups, right? So again, this is a really great way to get a great visual of what type of lineups you're getting and then actually control for it. And you know, if you're making 20 lineups, this can be very helpful. If you're making more than that, this can be really helpful because it'll give you a really good visual of what you're getting and let you decide, okay, do I want to get rid of some of these lineups for ones that are close to get more diversity or get a lineup that I think is better? It gives you a lot of control, right? And it's not just with players either. We can do filtering for team stacks. So you can say, okay, I'm going to look at all the team stacks I have with Carolina. You can do it with game stacks. You can say, okay, I want to look at my Seattle Buffalo game stack here. Obviously, there's not a lot when it goes to, we have a lot of Atlanta, Denver in this build. And we can also look at stack types, right? You can say, Okay, I have a couple lineups that are just QB with just a wide receiver. Is this the type of thing where this is a game stack? Is this something where I might want more correlation or does this make sense? And you can see it's actually our 20th lineup, right? So the difference between this one and even like the next best QB plus one, is that not that much? So we could remove this and then remove this filter and just look for a new lineup that is close to the thing. And I think that actually leads me to another thing that I think is really cool is you can actually just look, have it show all players and you can look for specific lineups that are not in your set of 20 that's in this pool of 1000 that you might want to use, right? So you're like, okay, you know what? I'm looking through this. I don't have any Lamar Jackson stacks. Let's look for him. Let's see what are my best lineups with Lamar Jackson. Okay, this makes sense. Um, Oh, this is actually... Is this a naked one? Oh, there's Mark Andrews. Maybe you're like, oh, I'm hoping for some Marquise Brown or a double stack like that. You can look down, see what it is, or actually maybe we can actually go here and look for Marquise Brown too, right? So we can go here, look for Marquise Brown, check him in as well. And then suddenly we can find our Marquise Brown and Lamar Jackson and be like, okay, here's my double stack, want to add it in. And now I have those 20 lineups. So I just wanted to throw a lot. This this is really just there's a lot of things you can do with this new feature. And it's really going to allow you to really get the lineups you want and really incorporate just make it so that set of lineups you choose, whether it's three, whether it's 20, whether it's 50 or 150, is really the set of lineups that you're like, I want. It's perfectly balanced. It has everyone I want. It has everything I do. It doesn't have anything that I don't want. It's really, really perfect. So I'm super excited about this new feature. I think it's going to be a great part of my process. I'm sure it's going to be a big one for you too. And I think it's really great, especially let's say the last 15 minutes before lock, you're downloading your lineups, you're about to enter them in. You can spend that 10, 15 minutes doing this, just looking through and removing some lineups here, adding some lineups there and really get that perfect set. So luckily for you, if you're not already a subscriber, you can try SaberSim out for three days free. So try it out this weekend and you could start Friday, play around with it, make your lineups on Sunday. We give you three free days, no strings attached. It's one of the best deals in the business. 
And if you have any questions for me specifically, uh, you can contact me at Max J. Steinberg on Twitter, or you could find me in the SaberSim Slack channel. So thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you got something out of it. Hope you it helps you understand this new feature a little better. And good luck with your lineups this weekend.